all right guys welcome to our channel once again here on our biology examination revision series we are still on cell biology and today we'll learn about binary fission so in short to stay to the end of this video as this is a very important and sensitive topic in your biology also we'll be solving some biology examination revision questions all right guys so let's begin first of all we need to understand that Binary fission is a process of cell division which occurs in prokaryotic organisms. So remember that prokaryotic organisms are single-celled organisms. So they have just a single cell. Now, if prokaryotic organisms should divide and then yield two daughter cells, it means two new individual organisms are being produced as well so we can refer to binary fission as a process of cell division or a process of reproduction known as asexual reproduction binary fission can also occur in eukaryotes but for the purpose of this lesson we'll focus more on the prokaryotic cells now let us consider the steps involved in this process first of all the circular dna and the plasmids replicate after this replication the cell elongates and then the dna and the plasmids move to the opposite poles of the cells the cytoplasm then starts to divide so when the cytoplasm fully divides two new daughter cells are formed each of these daughter cells will have a copy of the DNA, but they might have variable numbers of the plasmids. So bacteria can divide very quickly if they are under the right conditions, such as a warm temperature and lots of nutrients. So some bacteria such as the E. coli can take as little as 20 minutes to replicate However, when conditions become unfavorable for these bacteria, they can simply stop replicating and start dying off. The average amount of time it takes for one bacterial cell to divide into two is called the mean division time. So if we know the mean division time of a particular cell, we can actually obtain the number of cells it is able to produce in a given period of time. So guys, let's go ahead and practice some biology revision questions here. So I'll go ahead and post the question here and then we'll solve together. A bacterial cell has a mean division time of 30 minutes. How many cells will it have produced in 2.5 hours? So the first thing we have to do here is to make sure that the both times are in the same unit. So we'll go ahead and convert the 2.5 hours into minutes. So we'll have 2.5 hours times 60 minutes. And that will give us 150 minutes. And then next, we'll divide this time by the mean division time. And this gives us the number of division. So in order for us to determine the total number of cells produced here, we need to first understand that in binary fission, a cell will split into two. Now in this case, we have just one cell and splitting into two, we have one times two. So we also need to consider the number of divisions, which in this case is five. So we we'll raise this two to the power of five so all together we have 1 times 2 to the power of 5. And that's 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. However, if we have more than one bacterial cell, we need to take into consideration the number of bacterial cells in this situation. For instance, if we have three bacterial cells, first of all, we'll multiply 3 by 2. And then, subsequently, we will now raise the 2 to the power of the number of divisions. So take note of that. 
because it is very important you know it all right guys so that will be all for this class in short to join our telegram channel for examination updates if you are new to this channel also in short to share this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video see you next time